Okay, children. So, light lesson as we were doing. So, we will see children lens ray diagrams. Lens ray diagrams. So, children, before studying about lens ray diagrams or mirrors ray diagrams, computer you should know some uh, some terminology. Children. What is the terminology I will teach you children in this class? Uh, in mirrors or lenses, wherever it is, you go. The basic terminology is there, children. The terminology I will teach you in this class. So first terminology, first one. Children, suppose say this is a mirror. Children say this is a mirror. Imagine this is a mirror. Children, imagine this is a mirror. Okay. A mirror will have a center. Okay, children. This is called as this is called as center of curvature. Children, try to understand what is center of curvature. Please try to understand what is center of curvature. Children, this is a curve. If you complete this curve as a circle, if you complete this curve as a circle, if you complete this curve as a circle, it will have one center no children. If you complete this curve as a circle, it will have one center. That center is called center of curvature. Okay, children. So how to define center of curvature means it is it is center of it is center of imaginary circle. It is center of Imaginary circle drawn onto drawn onto this is curved surface now drawn onto curved surface of mirror curved surface of mirror. Okay, children, try to understand. Children, again I'm saying those who did not understand, again I'm saying children, try to understand, please. Those who did not understand, again I'm saying so. Children, this is a mirror. Okay, this is a mirror. Okay. This mirror, if I complete like a circle, if I complete like a circle, it will have one center now. That center is called center of curvature. So how to define center of curvature? It is the center of imaginary circle drawn onto this is a curved surface. Curved surface of a mirror. If I complete the circle for this curved surface, I will get one center now. That is called center of curvature. That is called center of curvature. So what is center of curvature? It is the center of imaginary circle. It is the center of imaginary circle drawn onto the curved surface. Next. Please meet your audio. Radius of curvature. Next to our children, radius of curvature. You should understand this words, children. What is radius of curvature? So, children, what did I say? So, what did I say, children? Now only just this is a curved surface of mirror. This curved surface, if I complete as a circle, it will have one center. This center and this point. Okay. Or else, first instead of studying radius of curvature, I will discuss pole. What is pole? What is pole? Okay, children. So this curved surface of the mirror is there, no children. This curved surface of the mirror is there, no. That mirror will have one center. That curved surface will have one center, no. The center of curved surface of the mirror is called pole. What is pole, children? Pole is center of curved surface of mirror. Center of Curved surface of mirror is called pole. Try to understand. The center of this is called pole, and the center of the circle is called center of curvature. Okay, children. Now we will discuss radius of curvature. Now you understand. What is radius of curvature? Now you try to understand radius of curvature. So, children, this is a mirror. This is a mirror. Mirror. This is mirror. If I complete this as a circle, imaginary circle. It will have one center called center of curvature, and the center of the curved surface is called pole. The distance between pole and center of curvature is called radius of curvature. It is like a radius in our circles. Every circle will have some radius, which is this is also a radius. So, how do you define radius of curvature? Means uh, distance between children, distance between center of circle. And this is with the center of circle and pole of a mirror. This is between center of this is between center of curvature. This is of center of curvature, children. This is between center of curvature, center of curvature and pole of a mirror. He is called it's called what children? Radius of curvature. The distance between center of curvature and pole. What is center of curvature? It is the center of imaginary circle. What is pole? It's center of the curved surface. What is pole? Radius of curvature. Distance between pole and center of curvature is called pole. It's a radius of curvature. 
distance between pole and center of curvature is called radius of curvature. Distance between pole and center of curvature is called radius of curvature. I hope you are able to understand. It's very concentrated. Don't just like that. See, try to understand. Fourth step. Okay, children. Now, see, children. If this is a mirror, imagine this is a mirror. So, all the light rays are coming from distant object like this. All the light rays are coming from distant object like this. They are all after hitting it because this is a mirror. They are all undergo reflection. They all will meet at one point. The point where all light rays meet is called focus. What is it called, children? Focus. What is focus? It is the point where all light rays meet after reflection or refraction. Okay. Point where all light rays meet is called focus. Is called focus. Right, Mr. Chairman. Point where all light rays meet is called focus. So, children, so our mirror is like this. Our picture of mirror is like this. The center of mirror is called four. And center of uh, mirror is called center of curvature. And line joining is called radius of curvature. Point where all light rays meet is called focus. Focus will be exactly half of radius of curvature. Remember all this. Focus is exactly half of the radius of curvature. Now, next one principal axis. Okay, okay, next one, focal length is structure. And what is focal length? What is focal length? What is focal length? Children? The distance between focus and pole is called focal length. The distance between focus and pole, the distance between focus and the pole is called focal length. The distance between focus and pole is called focal length. Right on the structure, but this is called focal length. The distance, the distance between center of curvature and pole is called radius of curvature, and the distance between focus and pole is called focal length. Okay, and focal length is half of radius of curvature. Just know it. No problem. Now, next to children, after this, uh, next we have to study principal axis. Children. Principal axis. What is principal axis? Try to understand children. Principal axis. Very easy, children. Principal axis. What is principal axis? See children, this is mirror. This is mirror. Okay. This is pole. This is center of curvature. This is radius of curvature. This is focus. The line joining center of curvature, focus, and pole is called principal axis. What is principal axis, children? The line joining center of curvature, focus, and pole is called principal axis. Again, I am saying, children, the line joining center of curvature, focus and pole is called principal axis. Last one, children, last one. Last one, aperture. What is aperture? Children, try to understand what is aperture. Children, this is the curved surface of the mirror. Everyone here, you to understand. This is the curved surface of the mirror. The line joining the both ends of the curved surface of the mirror is called aperture. This is called aperture. In circle mathematics, we will call it as a chord. In mathematics, we we'll call it as a chord. Here we call it as aperture. What is the definition of aperture? Line joining both ends of curved surface of mirror. Line joining both ends of curved surface of mirror is called aperture. So these are the important terms you have to remember when you are doing ray diagrams. Again, I'm saying you need to understand recent children. Center of curvature. What is center of curvature? It is the center of imaginary circle drawn onto the curved surface of mirror. Again, I'm saying children, it is the center of imaginary circle drawn onto the curved surface of the mirror. It is the center of imaginary circle. Okay, pole it is the center of the curved surface. What is pole? Center of the curved surface. What is radius of curvature? Line joining pole and center of curvature. Line joining pole and center of curvature. What is a focus? Point where all light rays meet is called focus. Point where all light rays come and meet is called focus. Okay, focal length. What is focal length? It's a distance between focus and pole. It's the distance between focus and pole. It's the distance between focus and pole is called focal length. And what is the principal axis? The line can in center of curvature, focus and pole is called principal axis. And what is aperture? It's the line joining the both ends of the curved surface of the mirror is called aperture. It's the, it's the line joining both ends of 
like this. It is mirror no channel. This is called aperture. It is in mathematical language, it is a chord. It is called as a chord channel. So these are the important terms. You should remember, children, all these definitions I'll give in the description of this video, children. Figures you should remember, children. All the definitions I'll give in the description of the video. But for figures compulsory, you have to go through this channel. There's no other option, right? And all definitions I'll put in the description. For children, including the worksheet. I hope uh, you are able to understand, children. Thank you.